what's the best audio format ever? <laughs> this comes from Pierre in Nancy, France. Nancy? Nancy? That doesn't sound very French. Maybe he means niece? Well, I think he lives in France, so he must know. Maybe there's a Nancy France. All right, Pierre. Hey, Paul, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate your videos. Why, thank you, sir. Grazie. No, not grazie. What do they say? Merci. Yeah, there you go. See my French? <laughs> I find them useful and very entertaining. My question is quite simple and direct. What's the ultimate audio format ever? Analog tapes or native DSD? Well, for those that watch this series a lot, you know my answer to that. DSD. Analog is wonderful. I mean, for years we made great recordings with analog tape. We made even great recordings with direct-to-disc, which was, you know, very analog. It had to be done live, direct to a, a disc cutter. You know, I mean, awesome stuff. But all of that had its limitations. So even if you were at 30 inches a second on tape, and mostly it were done professional tapes were done at 15 ips, inches per second. And oh, I made hundreds of those, and they sound terrific. But you've got tape noise, limited dynamic range, limited frequency response. Yes, you could go down fairly low in frequency. Yes, you could go fairly high in frequency. Pretty much cover the range of human hearing, but at those extremes, you're getting into phase shift. You're getting into nonlinearities. Uh, it's so easy to overmodulate tape to get the inner details buried. I mean, all the time that we played with tape, we were painfully aware of its limitations. Try, try and duplicate it, make, a, make a, a dub of a tape. Boy, every single generation, loss, loss, loss. I mean, it was, you know, it was awful. And when digital came around, we were like, oh my God, it's perfect. You can copy it as many times as you want. It's got full bandwidth, it's no noise, huge dynamic range, but it sounded like dog doo-doo. It really did. The original CD, I mean, God, I owned, what were the, it was a Sony F1, if I remember. It used VHS tape to record. It, it, uh, it was a really good sounding recorder. But that was the promise. And then Sony and Philips came out with DSD. And oh my gosh, DSD is, it sounds just like the microphones. We do recordings here at Octave Records. Everything we do is in DSD. And it's, uh, I'm telling you, I can sit here and I can listen to these fabulous microphones that we have. And, and talk about analog. I mean, it's just coming in through a microphone preamplifier directly into the monitor speakers. I can, I can hear the musician playing. And when we record that, there is no difference. It's identical. And we can make as many copies as we want. We can mix. We can master. So I'm telling you, it is, it's perfect. I recently went to a fairly famous studio. They were running everything in PCM on Pro Tools, and uh, Terry was with me. And this guy was mixing, and he was so proud, and he has, you know, gotten himself a Grammy, and um, and he's. We're looking at each other, going, "Holy crap! This sounds like dog." I mean, it was awful. Now. There are many great recordings made on PCM, so I, I, I just want to give you a little bit of contrast of what we listen to and what the difference. Terry and I looked at each other like, <sighs> but you get into our studio and you hear DSD, it is perfect, pure. So there's a little bit longer of an answer than you probably wanted, <laughs> but it's straight from the heart. All right. Thanks, and stay safe. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.